The chassis is back outside and out the garage, which can only mean one thing. Drone footage. removed the rear bulkhead so it clears the rear down bars. It was surprisingly heavy. It's going to be replaced with a sheet of aluminium. Now watch me struggle as I put the body on by myself. The body isn't particularly heavy. It's just a bit awkward. And obviously, I need to be really careful so I don't scratch the paint. Well, I think I made that look pretty easy. You know, when I started uploading to YouTube, I didn't really plan on doing these updates on my car. I wasn't really convinced people would find it interesting, but it have been some of my most popular videos. But when I started, I didn't really have many ideas, but I'd say that every video I do now, I come up with ideas for three more videos I want to make. And I've got some really good ones coming up. Well, I think they're gonna be really good. So make sure you subscribe to find out what I'm going to do. I'm actually serious about that too. Pretty sure one of these things is genuinely going to be the funniest thing I've possibly ever done in my life. Ever. Next up, time to put the engine in. I'm going to put my gearbox onto my running engine so I can get that in. If you've ever used one of these DSG gearboxes, they are heavy. I mean, 120 kilos heavy. They are a nightmare to get on the engine. Oh, hello. Solid engine mounts are nice when it's in the car and running. But trying to line them back up. There's no give, there's no wiggle. Which makes it a little bit difficult. I'm definitely going to have to elongate the holes in the future to make this easy. Because this here took me about an hour and a half. There was a few things I had to clearance. I wasn't really sure what was going to fit, but it went in and I'm pretty happy with that. really nice to see the car coming together like this now. I can see that it's actually becoming a car. The next thing I really want to do though is to weigh it. I want to know what this thing weighs. I'm going to be doing it soon so that I can work out a way to place other heavy items like the turbo, battery, things like that, just so I can make things nice and even. I think one of the next things I'm going to have to do is the exhaust manifold. Not really sure how it's going to go yet. I'm still deciding to do something cheap and easy just to get it running. Or we'll do something wild, crazy, a little bit unusual. 